Hi everyone. This tutorial video is being created to show you how to use the LADS search and order interface, particularly if you are a new user. And I, I know that you are able to get to our tutorial section if you're seeing this, but in order to get to our interface from the home page, that search and order interface, you would go to data discovery and then find data. And here it is. So before we begin, you're going to need an Earth Data login. And I actually already have one, but if you don't, you can still go to profile Earth Data login and register for a profile on this page. Me back to the lab site. And here I am at the interface now logged in. Now, step one is to select the data product that you need to download. And um, I don't know about you, but I, I do know the sensors, but data product IDs I am I'm not as familiar with. So say I know the sensor data that I need. Um, I can cl click that sensor and then it will filter all of the data within that sensors collection. And then once I get here, you can select the I button on these data products and to access more product information. This is a not so great example. Not all product pages are made the same. So let's let's do one that's a little bit more popular. So I selected the VNP 46A1, which is the Beers NPP daily gridded day night ban 500 meter linear lat long grid night. Um, and this is the product page for this data set. I'll give you product information and data availability over an area. Um, and you can read the general overview to see if this is what you'd like. And search for product files will take you back to search, um, although you are there already and selected. I'm just showing you a couple different ways you can do that. So once you have your data set selected, you'll need to select your temporal resolution. And you can either do it by a date range or a single date. I'm gonna go ahead and I like to select my date displayed as month, day, year, but you can choose month, day, year, year, month, day, or year and day. And I'm gonna go ahead and select July 1st, just arbitrarily. Um, you can also select multiple days if you'd like. Um, so if I wanted like the 1st and 13th to search, or what if now I want a date range as well? So you can see so you can select many different options, but if your search returns more than, uh, I believe it's two, 2,000 files, then no results will be returned. So you, you definitely need to create more of a finite search. So just for these purposes, I'm going to do one day. And for this data set, I can either choose the coverage to be night or the day-night boundary that uh, contains all data over the seasonal latitude boundary between day and night. So I'll go ahead and just do night. And then step three, you'll need to select your location. And if nothing's selected, it'll assume that you want the entire world and that will definitely give you too many data products. So let's go ahead and drill down by either country. You can select and deselect countries. You can do by tiles. You can select and deselect tiles. You can select by validation sites. Um, each color is a different validation site. And if you click view all, you can see all of the validation sites that are loaded into the map. Um, you can also draw a custom box around the area that you would like to download data for. And last but not least, you can enter, uh, enter coordinates um, either from uh, longitude latitude or latitude longitude, depending on what you would like. And um, so I'm going to I'm actually going to do custom box and I'll uh, just select part of uh, Texas for no particular reason. And once I have 
my product, my time, products time and products location selected, you'll see all of that up in this bar at the top. And you need, you definitely need to select a product time and location in order to get files. And once, so once you've got the, the product information you need, click on files and the files that are available will uh, populate. So I can see uh, four entries or four files that are available for download based on my criteria. And over here to the right, you can see it's a, uh, a download button that you can click and it will definitely start downloading whenever you click that or you can select several and download those selected you can also click the ones or select the ones that you'd want you'd like to download and you can click uh, review and order and under review and order there's several options and these options vary by product um, this one does not have post-processing available, but some data products do. And uh, so it'll say apply post-processing and there you can um, select a science data set variable uh, that you need. You can do spatial subsetting to reduce the footprint. You can also do a format conversion and resampling. So um, this, again, this product does not have that, but some do. And then from there, you'll just submit the order and a screen will come up that says that it will take five minutes to more than 10 days to uh, download those data products, especially if you're generating some uh, products that have post-processing. And that is all you need to know for the LADS search and order interface in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.